up guys, it's Argon657 here, today I bring you another Pokemon Aura's Live for Battle against Gabo, so hope you guys enjoy the video. Um, he's gonna start off with his Slurplurf, and I'm gonna start off with my Breloom, which is actually a Zoroark in disguise, but since he let off with, um, Slurplurf, I gotta switch out to my, um, Lomomola, so... Um, he ends up going for the belly drum, and, yeah, um, he's gonna go for that play rough. It's gonna do around, like, 75% to my Alamomola, maybe around 80, but I'm gonna go for the toxic, though, um, to wear it down and all that, because I kind of realized that, um, this Slurplurf had, um, has the ability on Burden, so now it's gonna be faster than everything on my team. So, um, yeah, it's going to pretty much um, sweep through my entire team. You'll see. Um, well, not my entire team, but um, almost my entire team. But, um, like I said, you'll see. Um, yeah, he takes out my um, Aloma Mola, and then he's going to go for the Drain Punch. And I'm thinking I'm, I could survive the Drain Punch, go for a Shell Smash, and that'll be able to outspeed the Slurplurf with the plus two, but, um, on Burden, it's, it's probably, um, I mean, this is an adamant nature, so, um, um, I'm guessing this Slurplurf is, uh, jolly, so it's able to outspeed my Cloyster even after, uh, plus two sh shell smacks, and I would have been able to sweep his team, um, yeah, but that's not gonna happen, he's gonna, take out my cloister and I'm gonna go into my Cobalion thinking that I'm jolly nature I can outspeed it but no it outspeeds my um, Cobalion and takes me out in one hit with the drain punch especially after that plus six so um, I'm gonna end up having to go into my Zoroark to avoid um, it going for the drain punch so um, he's gonna decide to go for the um, play rough instead so that's great because now um my Zorak is going to go down but I get to go to my Breloom and just take it out with the Mach Punch so finally um it took out four of my Pokemon but all I have left is Breloom and Chansey so I'm going to switch out into my Chansey um I don't think a Mach Punch would uh take out the Slacking so I'm going to decide to go to my Chansey and it turns out he is Life Orb. So, um, he's going to go to his Jellicent over here, and I'm going to go for the Soft Boiled um, to heal up, knowing that he has the uh, ability Truant. So, I uh, can't attack um, every other turn. So, um, I'm going to go for the Toxic over here on the Jellicent, so that way I can wear it down. And then I'm going to go for the soft boiled again just to stall it out but he's gonna go back into his slacking um, and um, I'm gonna go for the soft boiled and I know that I could take any hit from this uh, slacking but he's gonna reveal the hammer arm and it almost takes out my um, chancy but I'm gonna go for the soft boiled and knowing that I can easily live um, any hit he goes for after I go for the next soft boiled but he's gonna have the true aunt activated so um, I'm gonna um, go for the soft boiled again he's gonna go for that hammer arm again um, and then he's gonna um, take some more life warp damage I go for the heal bell because there's really not much I could do at this point um, a lot of my Pokemon have been taken out by the, uh, Slurf Blurf, and then he's gonna go into his Bayonet, and I kinda realized this is probably, um, Mega Bayonet, so, um, yeah, it's not gonna really, um, do much to that, um, Bayonet, but he's gonna go for the knockoff, so now Chansey doesn't have the Violet anymore. And I am going to go for the Toxic over here because um, I want to wear it down and all that. So um, he's going to go for the T-Wave and um, I get paralyzed over here so that kind of sucks. 
because uh, I was going to go for the soft boiled and all that. So he's going to withdraw into uh, slacking and I get paralyzed again. So yeah, so he's going to go for the uh, hammer arm and um, yeah, I'm going to go into my last Pokemon, which is um, Breloom. And he's going to switch out into Bayonet. So um, I'm going to go for the Swords Dance. And I'm just hoping that um, I don't get paralyzed if he goes for the T-Wave. Which he probably will do. Yeah, he does go for the T-Wave. Um, I go for the Bullet Seed over here. And it's going to easily take out the Bayonet. And I'm just hoping I don't get paralyzed so I can take out the Slacking. Um... Unfortunately, I do get paralyzed, and then he's going to be able to go for the Retaliate and take out my Breloom, so, yeah, that is, um, that was a good battle, so, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, uh, make sure to leave a comment below, click the like button, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys later.